So he's going through and raking it, and then she's coming right behind him and bailing it. That's how you get it done real fast. On a serious note though, that speed rake is awesome. She didn't have that one last year. It's a uh, new addition to the fleet, but man, it is really speeding up this process. I think not only is it a more efficient rake, but it's just got a much wider swath than the one she had last year also. Making quick work of it. I don't know how many acres she actually cuts here. I think she's got about 70 maybe, but she doesn't cut all of it. Let's say she does about 50 acres, something like that. And uh, they've been working on it for about two days and they're just about to get it finished up. So, not too bad. Looks like her cows are gonna be eating good tonight. <laughs> she calls that one Valentine. And I think you can see why. Cause I mean, she cuts all of this and then all of that way over there. I mean, all of this gets cut. And then over there are some more pastures that go way on the other side of this shed. And then also way over there. So she's got a lot of acreage that she does. And like I said, to get all this done in a couple of days, I mean, that's not too bad. And in other news, something else that I did for a project this week is install one of these locking mailboxes. We live out here in a very rural area, and sometimes if UPS or FedEx can't find our house, they will actually leave packages laying right here on the ground. So everybody that drives down the road can see them. It's a miracle packages haven't gone missing. Some of the neighbors actually have had packages gone missing. And we've had our mail gone through before too. And so with this locking box, the mailman can open that lid and put whatever he wants to inside, but then I have to have a key, obviously, to open it up and get the mail out. Hopefully this will prevent more of our mail from being gone through by who knows who. Something I still need to do that I keep forgetting to do is during that storm when the old dog kennel went into its barrel roll and hit this fence right here, it split one of my cross posts see that so i gotta get in here and lift this back up and hold it in place and run some more screws in from the bottom because <clears throat> my my brace and my wire is starting to get a little bit loose here so i still got to get that done it's always something but man it sure is beautiful out here yeah so that's just part of living out in the country you know just like everything else in life there's pros and there's cons you know we're pretty far away from town, so there's more of a drive to get to the store. You got to worry about your packages making it to where you live. Sometimes you got to worry about people going through your mailbox because there's no eyes, no prying eyes around, nobody watching. So it's easier for them to come down the road and rifle through your mail. You know, there's just always work to do. There's always a project that needs to be done. Seems like it never ends. But on the, on the, flip side of all that i mean it's beautiful out here we're out in god's country it's peaceful i can park my trailers wherever i want to i can do whatever i want to don't have an hoa trying to tell me what i can and can't do you know so and it's pretty cool you know some of the things you get to watch some of the things you get to see you know my neighbor's got a big hay operation going over there and she's got some attachments for her big tractors that i don't have and vice versa so you know, we get to borrow her stuff sometimes when we need to do a job and, you know, and then I'll take my grader out and grade the road for everybody so they can enjoy a smoother road. We all, we all kind of chip in and uh, do a little bit, you know, whatever we have to offer, whatever we're good at, we all kind of chip in a little bit out here. So the neighbors that do live out here in this area, you know, we, uh, 
we're kind of a family, I guess you could say. You know, and uh, when we have really bad storms or something like that, we all kind of band together and help each other out. So definitely some good things to it also, you know. And mostly, I just love how peaceful and beautiful it is. I mean, check this out. This is the gun range back here. Uh, not good for rifles, but it's good for archery and handguns and things. So we've got kind of our own shooting range out here and big field for the dogs to play in. And like I said, I just like being able to stretch out a little bit and feel like you've got a little bit of peace and a little bit of space, you know, don't have too much land so that it's just constant work, but just enough to keep you busy. And I guess that's part of the enjoyment of life, right? So that's homesteading for you. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so here in a couple of days, I'm supposed to get the Mustang back. It's been having that infamous MT-82, you know, shifting into third gear and getting locked out issue. So it's been at the shop for two or three weeks. And we've got some really good upgrades that we're making to the Mustang. So it should be pretty rowdy when I get it back. And hopefully that's the next video you're going to see. I'll kind of tell you and go over what we did to the car and uh, it should be a lot of fun and then saturday night we're headed down to somerset kentucky for a big car cruise so should be a blast stay with us we got some more good content coming you know on the things that have tires on them around here but i just thought i'd share some of the projects with you because like i said we've always got something going on around here and uh, some of these things are things that you guys and girls have to do also so you know it's kind of neat just to share the projects we got going on but anyhow Oh, you probably noticed the allergies are just beating me down too. Man, it's just bad this year. I think I'm allergic to everything out here. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I'll let you go. The sun's going down. I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not. But man, that sunset is absolutely awesome. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.